guys welcome to this new video of kubernetes for beginner today we are going to talk about kubernetes config file so what is a config file of kubernetes so before we talk about the config file for kubernetes let's see how the config file look like in kubernetes for example so this is how the config file look like in kubernetes and what is a config file guys so the kubernetes config file is a configuration file used by the kubernetes command line tool qctl to authenticate to the Kubernetes cluster and specify parameter like the cluster address, authentication, detail, default, and namespace, for example. So in simple word, the Kubernetes config file is actually this file that you need to be able to run kubectl command. So this is actually that the file that you need to be able to talk to the Kubernetes cluster. For example, imagine that the config file is just like the, the car key. So you have your car, you have the key, but if you don't have the key, you cannot get in the car. If the car is locked, uh, by default, a car is locked, and to get in the car, when you get in the morning, you want to use your car, you have to use the key to open the car, and that key is called a config file for Kubernetes. So for you to actually talk with the cluster, for you to actually instruct the control plane to do something for you when it comes to like creating port, for example, creating resources, you will need that config file. And that config file actually has a default location. It is located on the uh, slash home, dot cube dot config uh, for example let me if i go to if i go to the cluster right now uh, let me increase this if you go to a cluster right now for example um if i type kubectl get namespace this command work why because i actually have the config file and the config file is located under if i say cut i'm going to say home dot cube config so that's a default location and that is the config file right this is the config file of the cluster right this is the config file of the cluster i'm going to delete the this uh, i'm going to shut down this cluster later on because the config file is now publicly uh, visible so this is the config file so for you to go ahead and run kubernetes command you will actually need this config file so if you don't have this config file for example you will not be able to run kubernetes and this is actually the key to open the cluster so let's go ahead and remove this config file if i remove this config file for example now if i type my command again kubectl let's say if i cut here it is empty now if i type my command again kubectl get ns which stands for kubectl get namespace if I hit again, the connection to the server local host was refused. Why? Because I don't have the config file. So the config file is actually the key to the cluster. It is actually the element that is used to open the cluster, right? Without the config file, you will not be able to talk to the cluster. When I say talk to the cluster, you will not be able to create port, list, or do anything. And that config file is located under this location here. I hope you like this video. See you guys on the next video.